Hey guys, John here from FlyMikeAlpha.com and today we're going to be talking about aiming points, what they are, how to choose them, and how to use them. So choosing an aiming point begins on the downwind leg, when you decide whether or not you're going to land on the thousand foot markers, the very beginning of the runway, at the threshold, the numbers, the piano keys, whatever your intended point of touchdown may be. And why we want to choose one of these points is, first of all, it's when we're going to start our landing procedure in the Piper Cherokee in this case, getting configured for landing by reducing power, setting flaps, turning our fuel pump on, etc. And in addition to that, we also want to choose an aiming point so that when we're on final, we can judge whether or not we're high or low. And how this works is that when we see an aiming point that we are intending to land at move higher in the windscreen, it's an indication that the aircraft is lower on our intended glide path than it should be. And when we see that aiming point move lower in the windscreen or get covered up by the nose altogether, it's an indication that we are a little bit high. Think about it, for example, if you're looking at the numbers of the runway and you can see them, the next minute you can't, you've probably pitched up dramatically or you are higher than you should be and when you get back onto a reasonable glide path then you're able to see the numbers of the runway again. So we'll be choosing this intended point of touchdown and using it as a reference to judge whether or not we're high or low. That way when we're on a runway that's not serviced by Pappy lights or Vassy lights we're still able to judge our glide path and make a nice steady three degree approach down towards the runway. Nice stable power on approach, flaps down, power on guiding us down to the runway, not oscillating up or down on our way down to the runway. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.